Governor Reeves announced his plan to help financially struggling hospitals opening up potentially millions in funding. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake joins us now live from outside the state capitol. Richard, what are the details of Governor Reeves' plan? Well, it's two changes to the Medicaid reimbursement plans that hospitals currently operate under. Governor Reeves says that these plans could bring an estimated $698 million more dollars into hospitals across the state. Over the last four to five months, we've worked to put together a course of action that we believe can have a real impact on Mississippi hospitals. According to Governor Reeves, his plan could bring in over 66 million more dollars for UMMC, 34 million dollars for Singing River Hospital, and 10 million more dollars for Greenwood LaFleur Hospital. Reeves says reforming Medicaid reimbursement methods is the better option when compared to expanding Medicaid. The expansion of Obamacare, while certainly adds a significant number of people to the welfare rolls does not have the kind of financial impact that some of you in the room and some people across the state think that it will have. Mississippi State Democrats believe the plan falls short of the benefits Medicaid expansion could bring and they take exception to making this announcement just 47 days before the general election. It's my estimation that it takes $800 million to really get this program to work. $700 million is another band-aid. He's caring about his political position going into the final days of this election. I've been governor now for three and a half years. Um, every time I get up here, I get criticized by somebody or some group. And every time that I get criticized, I tell all of you and I tell the people of our state, uh, we're up here today because this is what's best for the people of Mississippi. It is estimated that hospitals will have to spend $178 million before drawing down federal reimbursements. Now this plan must first be approved by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services before taking effect. Governor Reese is confident that they will approve the plan. Reporting live in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.